Rajesh Parakalappa, yesterday you said sorry. I hope you have a little bit more than that to say tonight. Thank you very much for joining us back on the news. Our Rajesh Kalappa of the Congress Party, you know what you said yesterday. You said it's terrible. We didn't know. But now it appears that this whole expense for this jaunt was borne by the Chief Minister and the Karnataka Minister for Cooperation. That all the tickets were being organized by the, you know, the tickets were picked up from the office of the PA of Mahadev Prasad, the Karnataka Minister for Cooperation. Why, why is this? Why did you hide this yesterday, sir? Please. Can you just tell me why you hid this fact from us yesterday? No, 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 no. But I, I still. No, don't why know did you hide this, this from me yesterday? Me that, uh, the tickets. No, no. One, one moment. Let me uh, talk, Arnab. The point is that yesterday I didn't know what you were going to tell me. Now I have just realized what you are going to tell no. me. That namely so that you know true? the MLAs came is and picked up the tickets Is it true that Mahadev Prasad paid for this? Is it true that a minister paid for this? I have no idea, Arnab. How can you as say you, why, know, then why did the, the why chief, did the Thomas Cook I, I group spoke to the chief come minister to take the passports, the meet the legislature? Sir, you can speak to the chief minister, but you know he can I he can brazenly lie about it. I mean, there's nothing to find out. I'm I'm asking you today. Yesterday we found out that these MLAs in the aftermath of the devastating floods were holidaying abroad for 15 days. Today we find out it was being sent through a government, you know government sponsored process and you know why because there's a politics behind it did the chief minister tell no, you that it's very, it's very easy today to find out it's very easy to find out today if something is a government sponsored process because all you have to do is file an rti tomorrow no, no, the information it, it, will be, the, be at the your meeting doorstep. the minister does not deny the meeting sponsored. happened in his office the the min, the minister does not no, deny that, that this that, whole jaunt was that planned in his office. That doesn't take the matter further, Arnab. No, why is this minister? What that is it a birthday take the gift? Further. Is I'm, it a I'm birthday gift saying. by the minister? Is it a birthday gift by the minister to these MLAs? What is he celebrating? Or is it truly, you know, what is happening no. here is that this is an attempt at delaying a cabinet reshuffle at buying peace with one particular faction of Congress MLAs. So what you do is you buy peace with one particular faction of Congress MLAs by sending them on this foreign extravaganza. At whose cost? <coughs> at whose cost when floods no, are happening no, in your state? No, no in, so, in, in so far as what you're saying about the dissident activity, you know that, you know, appointments of some, something like what you're saying, cabinet sir, appointments and such others. Sir, yesterday, yesterday we were under the impression, so why, why, and I'm now opening taking, up the debate. Yesterday we were under the MLAs. impression, sir, yesterday we were under the impression that your MLAs are insensitive people who when devastation and tragedy happens and damage happens, goes or go off on foreign holidays. Today the, it appears the entire episode happens through your chief minister and your chief minister's, you know, uh, another minister under him. And therefore, in order to buy peace with one faction of MLAs, they are sent on a foreign holiday. You give me one good reason the chief minister and but the no, minister should not resign. You, you give me one reason the minister should not no, resign. The, Where does the minister get so much money from? No, but, uh, Why is he organizing the trip himself? At the himself? outside, I must tell you that this... Why is he doing at the, it? At the outside, I must tell you that this story seems totally implausible. Really? Of course, it everything seems, is implausible. You know, absolutely absurd, but... Really? No, no yeah. insofar as what... See, no, when really, our, when uh, our reporter, as as concerned, when our reporter so asked Mahadev Prasad, the Karnataka Minister for Cooperation, about why Thomas Cook people are meeting with legislators in his PA's office, he said it's because there was a meeting. It doesn't prove anything. You tell me why should there be a Thomas Cook meeting inside the Karnataka Vidhan Sabha and inside the office of the personal assistant of a minister with regard to vacations that his ministers, MLAs want to take? I mean, is he a minister for, uh, is he a minister for uh, cooperation or a minister for vacations? I think you should have a separate ministry for MLA's no, vacations that, tonight. No, Shailesh, Shailesh Gandhi is coming in. Please don't, no, no, don't, bluff, don't bluff on the news out tonight. What's it, Shailesh Gandhi? It's, it's unfortunate what we are seeing is the chief minister of a state yeah. coming like a small liar. The representative who is there, sir, can you please tell people and this country that you will ensure that this minister resigns? Yeah. You will ensure that these MLA's will repay the money to the exchequer? Can you at least say that? You did not know. Let's assume for a moment yeah, yesterday yeah. Okay. you did not That's know. That's the whole argument. Will you at least commit today that you will ask for the resignation of the chief minister, you will ask for the resignation of the minister concerned and say that all these MLA's must repay the money. Are you willing to accept that? Yeah, why? Why are these... Mr. No, repay the money whom? No, the, as far as I know, the... 
the the MLAs have paid for these tickets. Then why is the minister organizing the money it? to do themselves? No, why is the minister organizing it? Why no, does the group? Why no, does the group? Let's assume for a moment. No, let's so assume for a moment. What is the minister doing? Social let's service? For a moment is he a minister for vacation? Absolutely correct. No, you and know you're is... tying yourself up in knots right now. No, what is... eight of these MLAs you send are from the regions that are the worst hit from the floods? Twenty-two people die. Fifty-three thousand yeah. hectares of crops are completely gutted oh, and no, damaged out there, and you have a minister. Advaita Anand is coming into the debate and you have a minister organizing a vacation. Is this a joke? Advaita Kala is coming to the debate. Yes, Advaita. I think, Anand, you just said it. You know, I mean, this would be amusing Anand, and it would be a I joke talk? if if it wasn't for the fact that 22 people lost their lives. That's 56,000 acres of cropland in a state which is one among the big five where farmer suicides are at the highest point. It would be it would be a joke if the chief minister was had not thought of writing to the central government asking for aid from 350 to 400 crores, which clearly enunciates the magnitude of this calamity, of this natural disaster. It would be amusing if these facts didn't exist. But the bottom line is that they do. And this is a violation of any sort of responsibility and ethics that a person serving in public office is, is, is expected of them. Chandana Chakrabarti is an activist from Hyderabad. Before I go across to Alarita Kumara Mangalam, national spokesperson of the BJP, you must be relieved there's no BJP member in that junket. It seems to be a purely Congress junket done for certain uh, you know, dubious reasons. Quite frankly, Arnab. Yes, Ms. Kumara Mangalam. Quite frankly, I am relieved. But it, it's uh, shameful what, what, uh, what has happened. I'd like to say that even if these MLAs have gone on their personal money, given the fact that the people in their constituency are suffering so much, couldn't they put have their personal money to better use and perhaps used it to try and give some relief to the people in their constituency? After all, those people have elected oh, them. Well said. They wouldn't be in this did you say the same thing when ministers by from Goa went last month? Did you say the same thing when ministers Mr. from Goa Kalapa, went last Mr. month? Mr. Kalapa, the ministers, when they planned yeah, the Goa did trip, you say the same all thing? of us condemned it and eventually the yeah. trip was jacked. It was not, they didn't go on the trip. So, and are you trying to say that I'm, you're copying no, the BJP? Go, but they, At that they time, did didn't go. you virulently, so, almost and go. extremely I'm sorry, strongly no, condemn wrong. us? The, what the are you trying to say? That go. when the Congress the does it, it's okay, but go. when the BJP uh, plans something, eventually, remember that we stopped that trip from taking place. Eventually, the government, you know, government apparently has... You know, Kalapa Rajesh Kalappa, Rajesh Kalappa, before you... No, one second. I, when it is necessary, I will ask the BJP the questions. But I don't believe in this terrible policy. Because you know what was our first debate on the news hour tonight was about that man called... Ajit Singh, who has turned into the world's biggest squatter, he wants a government bungalow. He says this should be converted into a memorial. And when we were talking about that, some people from the other side said that, you know what, you also squatted, you squat on government bungalows. We are all a bunch of squatters and hence let's not ask questions at each other. I mean, this is terrible. The, ask yourself a question. You came on the program yesterday. Let's get Chandana into the debate. Brajesh Kalapa came on the program yesterday and he said, we are going to try and get these people back. Get them back. Get them back because, you know, it is grotesque. It is grotesque and unacceptable oh, that you, at a time when there are floods and people you, are suffering like that in Karnataka, these MLAs, more, these MLAs, these MLAs will be, these MLAs will be enjoying a Lido show in Paris. Not even, not even, not even percent. Chandana Chakrabarti, please, into the debate. Five minutes to go on the debate. Chandana Chakrabarti to Brajesh Kalapa, please. She is a social activist from Hyderabad. Go ahead, Ms. Chakrabarti. Well, I think this is the height of insensitivity and uh, shamelessness on the part of I said that uh, yesterday, so Chandanaji. I said leaders. that it was highly insensitive. Absolutely. And I think uh, they should be recalled and, re and be penalized for this. Not only pay, for, uh, you know, pay all the money back that has been spent, but they must be penalized for this. Unless we have this... Uh, there's no way uh, this is going to uh, stop. We live, um, unfortunately, in a country where politicians are going off on study tours all the time. What kind of study tours? And these people go at a time when there's uh, uh, such a calamity in the state. We'd like to know how much time these people have spent in their uh, constituencies. We'd like to know all of this. And there must be a system of recall. Unless there is a system of recall and penalty, I'm afraid such things will go on. There was a time when we thought that naming and shaming them uh, would help. But even that doesn't help now. All of them know that each time a bunch of uh, politicians go out on a study tour, 
There's, there's a hue and cry, and uh, so much has happened. But, but Ms. Chakrabarti, this is not a study tour. This is a holiday. This is a vacation. A dubious is, vacation because we don't know why ministers thing. organize vacations. This, and this and is not just vacation. You please find out. It could be just inducement, which is even worse. Well, you and know, it is inducement. You know I'm what I'm told. Afraid. What you, I'm what I'm told is that this whole package was being carried out to allegedly buy time to postpone buy polls that would have th this whole package costs about half a crore of rupees now maybe half a crore of rupees is not very much Rajesh Kalapa for politicians in Karnataka nowadays but it's still a lot of money where there are no buy polls in there are well, no buy polls in well Karnataka. this is you know you there know no you know you know that this is being done no to placate this is being done just took place now you need to understand this. you need just to the other day you remember you need to understand this Brajesh Kalappa that this whole operation has been done to placate sulking Congress MLAs as per our sources right but there is so, no sulking Congress MLAs. that's what you want us to there believe no you know that is what you want sulk? us to believe no, when will they sulk they will sulk there, there is a rift only after a cabinet you want me to go into details you want me to go into details happened. let me tell has you not happened. let me tell you the reason behind this is there is a rift brewing within the karnataka congress ahead of a proposed cabinet reshuffle siddaramaiah does not want to expand the cabinet there is a demand that the kpcc president parmeshwar be given the post of deputy chief minister you want me to go into the details there is also a feeling within the karnataka no, that, congress that let me complete please don't no, interrupt that, me. That there that is a feeling be... within the Karnataka Congress that Siddaramaiah yeah. is partial towards Congress MPs that he brought along with him when he jumped ship from the JDS. You want me to go into more details? Given that Siddaramaiah has been pushing no, off no, the let, cabinet no, no, reshuffle let me, let me from, tell you what from I after the Karnataka no, sure you know in August, you what the I Karnataka know. chief minister, it is felt, decided to send these MLAs on a jaunt to keep them happy and buy more time before a cabinet reshuffle. There is no other reason for this, no other logical I've, reason I've, for this. That's I've, the fact. I've, I've told you earlier and Arna, politics. that the story seems totally implausible sure. for it, this reason, that if there is going to be a deputy chief, chief minister, that issue will be decided by the high command in Delhi. Uh, Advaita, Where is the issue uh, of Advaita, to uh, sir, uh, Ad, Europe? Advaita, Kalalita, Kumara, Mangalam, all coming into the debate. Advaita, please. Yes, Advaita. The, uh, the earlier panelists brought up an important point about inducement and what we've been told this evening uh, about why they went on this junket because of some intra-party rivalry and some pacification that's supposed to be underway. This means that people in public office have been induced and <coughs> essentially that compromises their moral standing and their ability to conduct office and conduct business as usual and that is a very serious allegation. It becomes a little more than just an irresponsible act or something that lacks se sensitivity, it actually becomes about compromising your has position to be, in public office. There has to be a singularly compelling reason, and like Lalita Kumara Kamala, Shailesh Gandhi, there has to be a more compelling reason to say exactly at the time of droughts and floods, we are going to pack off these people for a longest possible time, not a four or five day trip. They're almost away for a month all over Europe. It's, it's clearly a time buying tactic. Shailesh Gandhi, you think they need to have a clearer explanation than coming on television and saying sorry every night? I think they forget that they are public servants. The fundamental thing that they forget is public servants. And I think our friend just now made a very great candorous uh, admission. He said everything is decided by high command. Yeah, but you know, where's the high command now? Lalita no, Kumara no, Mangalam. Maybe the Lalita, high command asked for the... Lalita Kumara Mangalam. No, what is scandalous about that, sir? Well, what's... What is scandalous about that? I'm candor, sorry. Candor. Candor. Candor, candor. He's saying, let there be a bit of candor on this tonight. Lalita Kumara Mangalam, will the BJP now watch out and tell its MPs and MLAs to watch out before doing something similar? I think I have lost the audio Honorable line there let, with Lalita Kumara Mangalam. Let, let, let Lalita Kumara Mangalam ensure that... But the foreign minister is available when the uh, prime minister is meeting with the Chinese premier. Uh, let, let, save the let sarcasm Lalita for later. It's not a way out. I think I lost the audio video signal there with Lalita Kumara Mangalam. I apologize for that. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me on debate number two on Junk the John tonight.